this week got for y'all the Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. Okay, okay, as is the custom, got to give you the background information. So you may be wondering, like, why the label on this is so messed up. So this is actually a bottle that I bought, I think, maybe at the end of 2018, beginning of 2019, years ago. Bought it for a special occasion. I think it was around $100 at the time that I bought it, which at that time I was still doing, like, mainly $30 to $40 bottles, but... Um, the person at the store said, hey, this doesn't come out that often. Just go ahead and grab it now. You can have it later. I put it in the garage. I forgot about it. And I was going through my garage and I was like, man, a special occasion happened. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and open this and film this. So here it is. The Michter's Barrel Strength Kentucky Straight Rye. This is a 2018 batch, 108 proof, 54. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, you may have remembered I also tried the Michter's US-1, the regular bourbon. And I think that's why I kind of put this bottle away and forgot about it because that was a forgettable bottle. I paid $50 for that. I did the videos. I recorded it, the long-term review, the initial review, and I was just very underwhelmed by it. For 50 bucks, I thought it was like, this is probably like a $20 bourbon that they're charging 50 bucks for, and they're not even distilling it at that point. It was just a real ripoff. And to this day, I feel like Mixer still owes me 50 bucks. But okay, that's fine. Like I said, I got this bottle, I put it away. Special occasion happened, and I was like, you know, I do like rye. My rye palettes have expanded since then. I've had a lot of ryes on this channel, so I'm gonna put this in that rye playlist that I have set up. I figure it's time. Fall, coming into the holiday season, special occasion also happened. Let's go ahead and try it out. So that's why I'm back with this. Let's go ahead and open her up. Wow, so this has a beautiful color on it. Let me see if I can show this to you. Yeah, really, really beautiful color on here. Man, the legs are there. 108 proof, non-age stated. And I believe at the time they were doing this, they were sourcing these barrels from somewhere. So. You don't know where this came from, if you can find one of these 2018s to compare against, but, I mean, the color is good, the viscosity is good. Let's go ahead and check out the nose. Yeah, so the nose on here is more of a bourbon nose than a rye nose, which usually that means that it's going to be good. I mean, just a hint, a hint of the spice. All right, let's go ahead and see what it tastes like. Cheers. Okay, this to me tastes like it's worth what I paid for this. Around $100 for a rye. A lot of times with these ryes, if you don't do it right, it'll be like too much spice, too much, too much of that flavoring agent. Not on this one. On this one here, wherever they got this from, this one is official. This one to me drinks a lot like a bourbon but you get a little bit of the flavor man okay i'm impressed with this one one more just can't really describe it you get a so far on the palate you get a perfect blend of the spice as well as like the flavor doesn't have nothing that particularly stands out you don't get a prominent anything this to me like i said is not tasting like a a rye this takes to me if it is it must be like 51 percent rye because it's just very evenly balanced you get a lot of the um i think that you know caramel and a lot of that dark dark stuff you get a lot of the dark fruits that you might get plums stuff like that on bourbon and then at the end you got the the, the spice from the rye the balance is good Hey, you guys know how I am on this channel. If I hate it, I'll let you know, but I don't have any problems on here. I think this was around $100 I paid for this MSRP. But what you're getting here, a barrel strength rye. Okay, I mean, I think it's fairly priced so far from what I'm tasting. And, I mean, that's all I can say. The US-1 regular bourbon I had, that was a ripoff. But I think this one here is a lot more fairly priced. I'll just leave it at that and just say, as you guys know, when I come back on the long-term review of this, maybe in the spring I'll be done with it. Hey, 
depending on how it goes, might be sooner. But I'll let you know what I think, though. So far, so good. I really like this. It's really good. I can see myself enjoying this. A lot of people don't really drink rye because they get intimidated, but this is a very approachable rye. And it's at 104 proof. It's not going to burn you out. Finish is very mild. You know, it's not staying with you. So this one might be worth a try if you can find this 18 batch. But I'll let you know what I think on a long-term review. Thanks for watching. This is Dark Spirits. I'm out, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.